Avengers issue 24 sees Robbie Reyes meet with the other Ghost Riders in Hell, learning that there have been many spirits of vengeance, as many as there are needed to be. The Riders implore him to finish the race as the Hell Charger repairs itself. Robbie says that he will be ready for Johnny's tricks, reassuring the other Riders that he won't win since Blaze threatened his brother, so he will ride through every demon in Hell if he has to to win. A Rider tells him that there's more than his brother's life at stake, but the peace of Hell as well, since Blaze will definitely be a new Mephisto should he win. At Avengers Mountain, Cosmic Ghost Rider fights Thor and She-Hulk, easily besting Thor, but not remembering why he is trying to murder the Avengers and why Johnny Blaze was acting like the devil. She-Hulk smashes Frank into the stationary Mjolnir, causing his skull to become stuck on the hammer's handle. She-Hulk is blasted by Frank's Hellfire as Thor summons the hammer back to him, along with the Rider's skull. The skull spits Hellfire at Thor as he tries to get an answer on who the trespasser is. The skull tells him that he is Frank Castle and he is better than them as the Headless Rider's body fights She-Hulk to a standstill as the skull is summoned back to it, used to smash She-Hulk away. Returning the skull to its neck, Frank wants to know why he was dragged to the mountain and he thinks the Avengers are working with Johnny Blaze. She-Hulk begins to power up her Gamma Bomb, combining it with Thor's lightning. The resulting blast catapults Frank through the mountain and into the armory where he is attacked by Carol. In Hell, Robbie races through the Hellfire as a group of demons look to stop him in the name of Johnny Blaze. The demons are attacked by the other riders who say the challenge of the Ghost Riders cannot be interrupted or stopped until there is a clear victor. Johnny meanwhile thinks he is going to win as Robbie's Hell Charger suddenly bears down on him, smashing him into the ground and leaving him in a mangled mess as the Charger races towards some volcanoes. Suddenly, the celestial Callus the Void erupts from the volcanoes, looking to kill Robbie. The being says that it's not Callus, but someone Robbie knows, and the rider thinks it's his uncle Eli, as the celestial's body makes an escape. At the Avengers Mountain, Carol fights Frank, learning the rider possesses the power of a herald of Galactus, so help is definitely on the way for her. Carol thinks she can handle him, but while they've been fighting, Frank has been using some of Tony's tools to build himself a gun, firing it on Carol and the arriving Avengers as his bike arrives, smashing into them all. Black Panther and Captain America soon arrive with their new celestial energy powered suits, and with their extra powers they are able to smash Frank in the face as Blade and Hellstrom watch on. Blade says that power cosmic space mumbo jumbo isn't his thing, hence why he's sitting the fight out. Boything manages to subdue Frank, but the rider begins burning the creature which causes Blade to get involved in the battle. Cap tries to stop the bike riding Frank, but says he's faced more powerful foes than the Avengers. Blade uses the breathing gun to disable the rider's bike, confronting Cosmic Ghost Rider and shooting him in the shoulder with it. Frank stops fighting, saying he's starting to like these Avengers. Thor wonders what type of idiot would think the Avengers were conspiring with the King of Hell, and Frank knows he's talking about him. He apologises, saying in his defence he was in space and he was pulled into Hell and Blaze was going on about some race. He was just going to kill Blaze and move on, but then he trapped Frank in the Hell Charger in order to get Robbie into Hell. Carol wonders how they can get Robbie out of Hell and save him, and Hellstrom says that he isn't there to be their tour guide, so the Avengers are on their own with this trip to Hell. Frank, however, says that he's decided he wanted to kill Johnny Blaze, so he will join the Avengers in their journey to Hell. He says to enter the Ghost Rider's challenge in Hell, they will need one sweet ass ride. Robbie, meanwhile, talks with what he thinks is his uncle Eli, who says that he turned his back on his family. Robbie says that Eli wanted to turn him into a sadistic monster just like him, but Eli says that he would have loved it since he would have made him a terrifying ghost rider. Robbie powers the Hell Charger into a jump, smashing straight through the Celestial, saying that he will never be ghost rider again. Eli smashes the ground under the Charger, causing Robbie to stop the car and ask if Eli knows what he's willing to do to save Gabe, and he will show him the last ghost rider he will ever see. Suddenly, Robbie's parents appear in front of him and they are scared of what their son has become as Eli crushes the Hell Charger under his giant fist, allowing the arriving Johnny Blaze to ride past, saying once he wins the race he will make sure the rest of Robbie's family can join him in Hell. The Avengers issue 24 was another really fun and action packed Robbie centric issue as he not only had to deal with a race for the fate of all of Hell and possibly the spirits of vengeance, but his uncle Eli as well. It's cool seeing all 
the different Ghost Riders from the Avengers 1 billion BC one to 40s gangster one and I love that they're helping Robbie as well since they kind of think Johnny is a terrible ruler of hell. Johnny as well is kind of acting strange since he's kind of a villain in this in a way and it makes me think maybe Mephisto is behind this and he's like manipulating Johnny a little bit but Johnny doesn't realize it yet. I'm really looking forward to the continuation of Robbie's story next issue and how exactly Johnny's story will spin off into the upcoming Ghost Rider solo series with Johnny and Danny. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10.